Good afternoon, everybody. Welcome, welcome, welcome to Facebook Live, except it's on YouTube, YouTube Live. I'm so used to saying Facebook. So it is time to get our stamp and lips on. I hope you guys are so excited. I am so happy to be with you today. I hope you had a wonderful weekend, a great Mother's Day, and I hope the sun was shining wherever you were, although I do know that many of you got snow. We didn't have any snow here, but it was cold. Oh my gosh, like cold. <laughs> so it was crazy um, to have such a huge swing in temperatures last week. I had um, my kids were complaining about how hot it was and that it was freezing and oh my gosh. So um, I had a really great day yesterday. It was, um, it was low key. My son and husband were gone most of the day. My daughter and I got to go shopping. There's one of our local department stores opened this weekend so we did a little a little retail therapy which was wonderful so we got a dress for my daughter for graduation um so that was really wonderful so i have to tell you guys um did i get my nails done yes i did not by a professional by me actually my daughter and i both did our nails you'll see them later they're not they're not bad, but they are not professional. Let me tell you, I have newfound appreciation for my nail lady. And when I see her again, she will get a big tip from me. <laughs> um, my kit finally came that I had ordered. And um, we, let's just say, yeah, not everybody should be doing this. <laughs> There's definitely something to it. So, oh, goodness. Oh, yeah, I, this is, this was a dip kit. And by the way, first of all, getting my old nails off was not easy. Some of them broke off, but most of them I had to kind of pry off. Um, and then the rest of them, whew. anyway, <laughs> so, uh, that we did that yesterday after we went shopping and, um, I, I, uh, I just loved a teeny slice of this week. I've got a great week coming up. Tomorrow night is my um, Stampin' Game Night workshop. And I've got great projects planned. We've got tons of um, prizes to give away. There's all kinds of exciting inspiration coming. We're going to start tonight with um, some mystery stamping where I give you some directions to create a project and then we'll be able to share what we created and you can um, you can share with everybody what what you your um, creation was based on my somewhat vague uh, <laughs> instructions are and it'll be so fun to have any to have them um, to see what everybody does. I'm really excited about that. I'm sorry my shirt is like glowing. I don't know why it is, but anyway, it's cute. Here. Oh no, that, ooh, oh, there, that's better. That's like, woo, right up close. Here we go. Um, yeah, so I'm really excited about that. Uh, let's see, what else do I have? Oh, on Friday, I have a class coming out, which is my clubhouse class, cool card with that. And then um, you don't get how I conduct game night. Well, Monica, join us and you'll see it's awesome. Great time last month. We, uh, we played cards, we played some games. It was great. So, um, friend, how to get them off. That was tricky. I think patient, the first thing. You do have to use acetone and... Um, yesterday when we were doing this, I was like, oh, I feel it burning. And, um, I know if, if you've done, if you've gotten your nails done, Fran, you've seen how they get them off. That's how you get them off. So it, uh, I think, um, I will tell you my take your pick tool was used. <laughs> so it was pretty fun. Anywho. 
<sighs> uh, let's see. Um, what else do I have to tell you? I, oh, well, hmm. <laughs> um, I will, I'm, I'm just gonna, I'm gonna talk about a little, a little teeny elephant in the room, um, just because it's on my heart. So I feel it's important to talk. So last week, if you were on my YouTube live, I talked a little bit about my life. I feel like when I'm with you guys, I am stamping with my buddies. I feel like you're my friends and we're stamping together, having a good time together. And I said at the beginning, I needed to vent a little bit. Well, let me tell you, the backlash was harsh, fierce, unrelenting, and uncalled for. I got quite a few messages. Um, someone even felt the need to reach out and send me a rather lengthy email. Um, and I will just tell you, if you don't have something nice to say, you just don't say it here. This is my business. This is my livelihood. This is the place where I share my heart with you and it comes from a very um, genuine place. I had a rough week last week and let me tell you, Monday was probably one of the better days. It was awful. And um, I, I will tell you 99.999% of the people who comment to me share wonderful, happy, uplifting, positive comments. But let me tell you, those .0001 comments that I got last week were through the heart brutal. And I, um, I don't mean to be harsh, but if you don't have something nice to say, zip your lip. So um, I, I just feel like I needed to address it. I'm a real person as you see, um, and those comments were harsh. I will tell you, you're not gonna see them, I deleted them. And guess what, I do have the last word because this is my channel. And if you don't like what I'm saying, if you don't like what I'm putting out, go somewhere else. We are a positive, fabulous group here. You will be missing out. And too bad for you, I radiate has all. Sometimes a girl needs to vent, and don't you tell me that I don't deserve it. So I kind of got up on my soapbox just a little bit. So yeah, um, and thank you, by the way. I had, since then, I talked about it with my Facebook class members, um, I think Wednesday. <laughs> I... <laughs> Um, I felt like, you know, in the smaller grief place, but oh my goodness. <laughs> um, I think the thing that makes me so um, angry about it, after I vented for a few minutes, um, needs to do with their girlfriends. And don't tell me you've never vented with your girlfriends. I mean, come on, that's what we do, right? But after I did that, I felt better. And then I made some pretty amazing cards to share with you guys for free. And then to get all of those comments, wow, <laughs> that really just, that hurt my heart. And I'll tell you guys, I put out a lot of good in this world. I'm just saying. <laughs> um, I work extremely hard to bring you awesome stuff and to make your lives better. And man, and I will tell you, I know... I, uh, I saw someone say, well, is that somebody, like, were these your regular people? And I will tell you, um, they would, no, not, well, a couple people were people I recognized their names. And then um, the one lady I didn't know, but friend, one of my friends knew who she was. And I'm about 90% sure she's a demonstrator. So, <sighs> Uh, but I will say just, if you can't be nice, zip it. I wasn't being mean in my venting. I was just telling you how I felt, which is what I do. I actually have a really hard time not being authentic. Uh, I think, I think that's one of the things you guys like about me, but, um, yes. And my friend Kelly, she got a crazy person too, um, who commented something really nasty. In fact, I've, I've often wanted to start a Facebook group for my fellow demonstrators. 
that was called. It's not just because you're a bad demonstrator. All the crazy comments that we get. And honestly, it's been a long time since I've had like just really mean hearted ones. Um, it's part of being online, just like our goofy little crazy people that hop on here sometimes. But um, yeah, I really just felt like I needed to address it because it just was so uncalled for, I think. And again, I really think of you guys as my friends. I don't think of you as, you know, like my girlfriends. You need girlfriends, right? <laughs> and we haven't been able to see our girlfriends. So uh, I will say, though, yesterday, um, the post from um, one of my trips to Wyoming to visit my friend Barb was posted. Barb Kelly and, and I were, um, I shared that picture on Facebook. And oh, oh, I think today I said, I think we should just go. Um, I miss those two so much. We always get together and have such a good time together. And um, that I think was our first trip and it was really great. So anyway, um, thank you for letting me share that. I know you guys are all saying such sweet things and I really appreciate that. I will say, and you know who you are, I won't call you, but I did get just the kindest out of the blue a message from somebody who I don't think had any idea what happened last week. Um, and she just wrote me a message that just made my heart so happy. And I almost cried from that. And I was like, no more crying. <laughs> there was kind of a little bit of that last week. Um, and anyway, it was great. Also, in other news, um, my sweet Ella got a dress to wear under her cap and gown. I'm just hoping that she'll be able to wear it at an actual ceremony. But if not, she gets to um, get recorded um, walking across stage graduating tomorrow. And it's really funny because she keeps saying she's graduating tomorrow. And I'm like, uh, no, you're not. You have school until the 27th. You can't give up now. <laughs> she, this is, this week is AP test week. She's taking one test right, actually right now. Maybe it's over, but she had one this afternoon and she's got a couple more uh, later in the week. So I had to laugh <laughs> about that. <sighs> so anyway, um, I am so grateful that you are all here with me today. Thank you so much for being here. I think though, it's time for us to stamp. We have all kinds of great projects for this week that I can't wait to share with you. And um, I will tell you though, it, if uh, many of you are registered for my, um, for my game night, if you are not registered, you can still join the fun. Uh, our packets are sold out, but if you have, if you want to come with us tomorrow night and see some fun stamping and have a good time, you know this is the place. Um, we have a special Facebook group. It's a public group. You do need to, I will approve you, but you can see everything. Um, I'll post a link just like this for our live tomorrow night and you'll be able to see. I won't have the live go public, um, just because, uh, just because I don't want to deal with all that, <laughs> but the link will be in the group so you can see it easily. Um, I will also send uh, a reply or I will send out a reminder to all of you who are registered. So you'll get the email with the link as well. Um, and you know what, girls, we are going to have a good time. And that is what I promise. Also, it's a pajama party. And I did get a new set of pajamas yesterday. And I'm really excited about them because they were 30% off. So anyway, <laughs> um, I uh, think, though, it is time to flip the camera. I have a stamp set to give away. And I have really awesome, I think, awesome projects to share with you. So are you guys ready? All right, here we go. I'm just going to flip the switch. Also, I have to tell you guys, I, and I will post this um, when I'm done. This is clean, clear, glorious stamping table space. It is so clean, you guys. I cleaned my desk off. I texted my assistant and she, well, I won't even say what she said. It's not appropriate for a public channel, but she was impressed. <laughs> So we had a good time um, giggling about that, I'll say, because it's normally kind of a disaster. So um, yeah, normally I can't really go much outside of what you can see, but this time like, whew, 
clear. Clean and clear. All right. Um, oh, my nails look good. Do you want me to point out the imperfections? <laughs> Upon closer inspection, they're not quite as good. But yeah, from a distance, they're better than they were last week. Yeah. <laughs> they're not super good, but you know what? I'm rocking it. Okay. <laughs> so first of all, um, I did draw a name for a free stamp set. I had an extra one of these Sweetly Swirled sets, and I have to tell you guys, this is on the discontinued list, and if you were in my game night last month, you saw we made some super cute cards with this set. So make sure you get this if you haven't already. It's on my must-have list. Um, but the fur the winner this time is Sandy Ludwig. So congratulations, Sandy. I don't know if you're on right now, but I am going to get this sent out to you. I feel like I have your address, but maybe just in case. Ooh, here we go. Maybe just in case, Sandy, will you email me um your mailing address so I can get this out into the mail for you. That would be awesome. And congratulations on winning. This is like one of my favorite sets. Um, so that's awesome. And then also, um, 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 oh, if you want to be entered into the drawing for next week, make sure you share on Facebook, my um, my video here, the link to this video. I had a bunch more share. We're almost up to enough shares that I will give two stamp sets away. So get in on that, you guys. Um, I am always excited to be sending out prizes to people. So I would love to include you in that. So all you have to do is share the video. Uh, all right, next up. Oh, oh, I can't even believe we went this long without mentioning this. My catalogs came today. Oh, they're so shiny and special. Oh, I love them. I can't show you anything but the cover, but oh my goodness, I'm so happy. So my catalogs um, arrived and this, um, this was a very exciting moment in my day when the box was delivered. I should say boxes. I got a whole bunch of them. So I'm very excited about that. Um, if you have ordered from me in the past six months over $50, you have one of these glorious babies coming your way. And um, it is going to be pretty exciting. I also am going to have for you uh, several different things. I'm going to have an in-color club, which will last um, about five months. Um, so it's a limited time club and it's really awesome because you can get whatever you want on it. There'll be all kinds of good stuff. Um, second of all, I'm going to have product shares as I always do for the new catalog. And third, I will have um, my favorite, which is the new catalog kickoff. And all of the details for that are going to be coming um, probably at the very end of this month. I'll, see, I'll get my share information out a little bit. I will say, though, no matter what you partake in, be a little patient with life. It is... COVID-19, there are delays, there's all kinds of issues, but you know what? We will make lemons, lemonade out of our lemons and have a great time. Um, so yeah, Karen, this is my boxes of catalogs. I don't have my regular catalog yet either. So yep, that's just kind of how it is. This is this is what it is, but um, I'm so grateful that we were all able to watch or to see the catalog in online if you're a demonstrator. If you aren't a demonstrator, you should so join my team. Uh, we have the best time. Um, but it's a really great time to join because you can choose the items from our pre-order as part of your starter kit. So make sure you take a look at that. If you have questions, let me know. It's the best deal we have, so I highly recommend it. Uh, okay, now my first project is from my new creativity to go kit for this month and that is going to be the path of petals bundle this is what our creativity to go kit will be focusing on this month and I love this um bundle and it's one of my kind of underused bundles I don't know about you get but I always get kind of stuck into the rut of um doing I, I kind of get comfortable with a stamp set and then I don't I don't know if I want to get get out of that rut. Okay, hold on. I seal all kinds of things on here. Um, 
Okay, is my stamp set in the new catalog? No, it is not. It will be in the January catalog. Um, American only. Um, my club in my product shares are American or U.S. only. Um, but my my catalog kickoff is for worldwide, so that's no problem. Um, what is my nail color? I don't know. It is part of the kit I got on Amazon. <laughs> it's it's a dip kit. Um, so I don't know. <laughs> um, let's see. Um, 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 where do I live? Oh, you're asking someone else where they live. Okay. So there you go. Yeah. Uh, I will say once you got the puppies, that's all you use. I know. Right. I, I know it. Well, okay. We won't even go there, but yeah, I would agree. I do love that, those poppies. So the Path of Petals is one of those stamp sets. When you look at it, you might think it's not much. I will be honest. When I first looked at this, I did not think a whole lot of it. I will say I loved the sentiments in it, but it was it's not um, my favorite. Now, the accessories that go with it were pretty amazing, but I wasn't quite sure with this about this. It does come with some dies. Now, the stamp set will continue to be available Um in the new catalog, but the dies are not. And I don't know why that is, to be completely honest. But I have some really cool um, projects planned that do incorporate the dies. And so I think you're gonna really like them. Uh, okay, so what I love about this stamp set too is that it's, I call it an innie and an outie. <laughs> and so what I mean by that is the inside, um, there's sentiments for the outside and the inside of your card. And they're kind of interchangeable. You could sort of go either way with, with it. But um, like you could put thank you on the outside and then your kindness touched my heart on the inside. Um, you could put sharing in your sorrow on the outside and then... Um, hoping you can find strength for today and peace in tomorrow, et cetera, et cetera. You get the idea. So I, I really like that part about it. But I wanted to showcase this big, huge, awesome die. So um, this is um, one of those dies that I th think is a little tricky to deal with at first because you're not sure what to do. Um, so yeah, okay. <sighs> let me show you what I want to do with this. So first of all, I die cut this out of watercolor paper. And you can see I left all of the pieces in. Um, it cut just fine, but I left all those pieces and parts in so that I could paint it a little bit easier. Sometimes I think it's easier to, to mess around with it when you can see exactly what you're doing and, and it can be tricky um, if you take all the pieces out. Second of all, I'm going to take my ink pads and squeeze the ink pad to the lid. Okay. And I'm going to do some coloring. So I'm going to use my aqua painter. Now, if you saw that the aqua painters are on the discontinued list, calm down. They're not going anywhere. They're just going to be different and better and awesome questions <laughs> I think that's good all right so these uh the aqua painter is not going away don't worry all right so what I want to do is take and add some color now first of all I'm going to look at I've got some I don't even know what these are probably leafy things some flowery things some more leafy things leafy things flowery things leafy things little branchy bud things flower branchy bud leafies and flowers those are, of course, my own terminology. All right, so what I wanna do is color each of those. Now, I also am mindful that once I am done coloring, this piece of white cardstock is going to be still there. So I don't wanna be like going crazy all over it. Okay, so I'm gonna start by coloring in some of these flowers. So I've got, um, go crazy in here because we're gonna get rid of that center piece. I guess that's what my point is, is the outside will stay, but the center will go. All right, so I'm gonna go over the edge. And just color these in. I'm using crushed curry. And you can see as the kind of color, as I'm using up the color, it gets lighter, so I can come back and add more color. Okay. And, oh, 
get this one over here, kind of come back. All right, so I love this yellow. This just reminds me of kind of some wildflowers in the summer. There's sunshine outside, so I'm happy. Um, I don't, I didn't tell you guys, here, but I did take a little time off this weekend, which I needed to do. Um, and that was good, 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 good. So I got, I'm almost done with another shawl. I'm very excited. I'll post pictures of it when I am done. It's getting close. Those last few rows are always just brutal. <laughs> okay. So that looks pretty good. Um, maybe just a little bit darker here in the center. You could also do this with Stampin' Blends. Uh, it would be definitely a different look, but you can certainly do that. Okay, got that. Good. Next up, I want to do these greenery things. Um, and I'm going to do that in Old Olive. So once again, I'll squeeze it to the pad or however you like to watercolor. Some people like to do it different ways. And I'm going to just do these leafy things. I always enjoy making up my own stamping terminology. One of my favorite things to do. And I find that I come up with some awesome stuff when I do that. <laughs> I have to giggle. My husband is on a work call in the other room. I would say my work, as in this, is much better. Not 100%, but much better. So, and we go back to see his doctor. Well, I don't know when, but sometime. <laughs> that. Okay. So I've kind of left these, whatever these, oops, little things are. I feel like they're like a little branchy thing. I'm going to color that in with a, um, I think a brown color. We'll see. You never know. <laughs> and then we're almost done here. By the way, when you're not talking to an audience, <laughs> this does go a little faster. Okay. But I do like this. It's um, it's fun and easy to watercolor this versus like probably using your blends or whatever. I, I think this is pretty easy. I love to watercolor too. I know you guys probably know that if you've been watching me for very long. Um, I find it very relaxing. And don't we just need to do some things that are relaxing? Oh my gosh. this These are the days for relaxing relaxing activities that make things better in your life. Okay, so there we go. Um, and you know, now that I'm looking at this, I'm almost wondering if maybe I'll leave these white and then we'll put a little shimmer on them. That could be cool too. So, okay. All right. Um, let's see here. Are you alive? Yes. Oh, hello. I'll just give the question later. Thank you. Okay. Um, is there a trick to getting ink in the lid on the new stamp pads? You're not able to get any. Um, just squeeze just a little harder. Um, what am I going to do with all the shawls I'm knitting? <laughs> we'll wear them, of course. Um, I, you know, I, I will give some away as gifts and things of that nature too. So yeah. Okay. Um, so this looks pretty good for now, and I'm gonna give this just a second to dry. The other thing that I want to do is to take, I cut another piece that's the same size, and by the way, the size of this is about five and a quarter by four inches, and um, I'm gonna use this. Um, someone said you can use an acrylic black. Yes, you can. Um, I, I don't know. I. These are a little bit more stiff than the old pads, but I don't have a problem. I would say put kind of the, your, the, whatever this is called of your palm uh, in that. It helps if you go, uh, and I don't have trouble. It could be too that your ink pad is super dry. I have had that happen where someone is trying to get ink out of, let's say, a dry sponge, <laughs> so to speak. So 
All right, now to make this really pretty, what we're gonna do is take some um, pool party ink. We're gonna give this a good squeeze and we'll pick up this color. This is kind of my favorite color to put in a background. And so I'm just going to put this down, squeeze a little water to get the water flowing. And we're gonna go all over the back of this to just create a nice little wash of color. And it's not super bright. It can be as bright or dark as you want. I don't want it to be too bright, but just some pretty, pretty color in the background. Okay, and there we go. That looks pretty good. Now let's hit this with our heat tool quick. That looks good. Hit this real quick. Probably shouldn't put it on top of this one. <laughs> All right. Now, what I'm gonna do is pop out all of the, the negative pieces that we don't need out of here and doing that a little carefully. The nice thing about watercolor paper is it's sturdier, so you tend to not rip anything, but it also means that you might wanna put it through your big shot and back it up and run it through twice. You know what I mean? That's what I did is I just went, it, went through twice but you can see everything's coming out quite easily. And then we'll take our poking device, <laughs> AKA your take, the, take your pick tool, and just get rid of all these little inner pieces. <laughs> I told you I like coming up with stamping terms. The innards of our card. I'm trying not to poke myself. <laughs> I did that. Oh my gosh. I actually, can I just tell you, I work with paper. Do you see that? That's a paper cut. I like work with paper for a living. And um, yeah, I see. I do, don't I? We'll just see what we can do about that. Yeah, there we go. Oh wait, actually, I know what I can do. Um, There we go. <laughs> He's gone. No worries. Okay, um, so I work with paper arguably like all the time and um, I don't get paper cuts very often, but let me tell you, this one was like kind of got to me. It hurt. I don't know what it was either, um, but it does happen. Okay. So we're just gonna pop all these little pieces out. I could also bring my dye brush in and use that. That would probably make this go a lot faster, but this isn't too bad. As someone's saying why, you know, I don't know what what the excitement is <laughs> for trolling a crafting video. I really don't get it, but okay. <laughs> Whatever, well, I'm happy to delete you. It's no biggie. <laughs> All right, so there we go. Oh my gosh, isn't that pretty? Oh, so pretty. Um, is the new cutter in the catalog, the mini cutter? No, that was um, a, a treat for demonstrators only, one of the benefits of being a demonstrator. So no, it is not in the catalog. How did I get the stencil that is beautiful? Is that one of the laser cuts? Nope, this is a die cut from the Path of Petals bundle. It's this piece right here. So, yeah. Okay. Yeah, isn't that pretty? It worked out pretty good. Now, I'm going to flip this around. Oh, perfect. So, there we go. So pretty. Now, what's really important about this is that everything is dry before you proceed. If it's wet, then bad things will happen to good people, and we don't want that. So, what I want to do next is take my sentiment, and I thought this one was kind of perfect. Um, and that was, um, your kindness has touched my heart. Oh, so wonderful. And so I'm going to take some early espresso ink and stamp this down on here. Okay. And I've got this kind of centered and also 
there was a fuzz in there I got rid of. So I'm just gonna stamp that right here in the center. And I'm just gonna hold this for a second. Which catalog is the Path of Petals bundle in? Cindy, it is, I think that was a Cindy. Um, this is from, or Candy, sorry, that was Candy that said that. Um, this is from the annual catalog, the big catalog. And the stamp set is continuing, but the dies are being retired. And this is my creativity to go kit for this month. There is a link in the, um, a link in the description of this video for you for that class. Highly recommend it. Oh, look at how beautiful that is. So pretty. Okay, so now what I'm going to do with this is I'm going to flip this over. It's nice and dry. And I'm going to take a few of my mini dimensionals and pop these in a couple of spots. I might even snip a couple smaller parts on here. And um, then let's see. I'm going to put one of these little skinny strips right there. What I'm trying to do is pop this up onto my card. And I want, you know, these little pieces that are in here to be popped up as well. And I literally can hear my son saying that's what she said because he's 14 and that's what 14 year olds do they say things that are wildly inappropriate at inopportune times <laughs> like dinner every night <laughs> do any of you guys have people like that in your household <laughs> oh goodness yeah I don't he said one the other night and my husband and I were like oh my gosh <laughs> this is wrong <sighs> But since we're all quarantined, I guess it doesn't matter. He's only embarrassing us. <laughs> I'm sure as soon as we're out and he starts saying this in public, it'll be a treat. <laughs> On the upside, I haven't had any calls from school. So, <laughs> all right. <sighs> okay. So, and then I'm putting my dimension, I guess I should use regular dimensionals. I'm putting them in the corners here as well. Okay. So, thank you. Uh, um, uh, this I got my blouse this weekend. Um, we had one of our local stores was, our, our state is slowly opening up. And so one of our stores was open this weekend and it was just glorious to get out and do something normal like shop. Okay, so I've got this popped up. So you can see that's kind of beautiful. Love the look. And then what I'm going to do is do some spritzing on this because you know it's my fave. I'm just going to do spritzing with my uh, Clear Wink of Stella. So first of all, remember these little white, these areas I left white? I'm going to put um, shimmer on those with my Clear Wink of Stella. And then to spritz, you know, I'm just going to take and I need to smack this against something. So I'm going to do that like this. And when I do that, you can see that there is little spritzes of shimmer all over. So pretty. It's much prettier in person. So hard to find um, find the right angle to get the shimmer to really show through. But yeah, there we go. And then um, because this is so gorgeous, I'm just going to put it on a plain old crumb cake card base because we don't really need anything to wild and crazy here I want the focus to of course be on what I've colored oh so pretty and then um I'm gonna adhere it with some glue and then last but not least I do want I, I am gonna add one more touch to this and that is a little oh wait I thought I had it out I did some braided linen trim or whatever this stuff is called <laughs> I don't know words are too hard <laughs> I love what my assistant always says I'm too pretty to do math <laughs> I'm too pretty to come up with the right words the right, right terms for this 
it's really more that my <laughs> brain power ceases to exist when I'm shooting a video. I don't know why. You turn that camera on and your brain just kind of goes out the window. It's really challenging, to be honest. <laughs> All right. So I've got my bow on here and I just think that kind of ties everything together nicely. We'll trim that off and then my favorite thing to do with this is to just kind of floof the ends. Gosh, I'm good for words today. All kinds of good new stamping terms. Okay, so there we go. Oh my gosh, it's so pretty. Isn't that awesome? Oh, so yeah, make sure you check out my class with this. Um, like I said, the description or the, the link is in the description of this video. You will love the class. Lots of really great tips and tricks included in um, the class for the for things like this. So I think you guys are really going to love this. Um, and that class is going to come out towards the end of the month. So, all right, next up, we have something a little easier. Um, and that is, ooh, but where did my, hold on. I lost one of my pieces of cardstock. It couldn't be too far because my desk is so clean. I should be able to find it easy. Or so you would think. Oh, actually, I know what I did with it. Um, I need to emboss it. Okay, so I didn't do this part ahead of time. So bear with me for one moment. I'm going to take my um, subtle embossing folder. And if I can put it in here without making it crooked that would be awesome here we go embossing it really quick off camera okay so my subtle embossing folder is probably one of my favorites i love it um so i took the bundle wish for it all and this is kind of a a fun bundle um I've made some really fun things out of this. There's all these different pieces in here, but there's these two candles and I really liked them. And one of the things that uh, I love about being a demonstrator is we have access to all kinds of fun things. So we, um, we used to have this little magazine called Stampin' Success and there was this really cute card in here and I loved this card. I actually have been wanting to make this card pretty much since the catalog came out because um, I think this is... Uh, I don't know. It's from a while ago. <laughs> anyway, I don't know when this was. This was quarter three. I don't know when that is. It's not the, well, whatever. It doesn't matter. Anyway, <laughs> love this card. We're going to make it. Here we go. <laughs> so um, I changed up the colors, though. I kind of wanted this to be bright and fun and happy. So I die cut those candles, and then I'm just going to snip off the flame portion. Now I'm going to save that because I feel like we could for sure come up with something cool to do with this. And then I'm going to snip this off. This sort of reminds me of a card I made, I don't know if it was last week or a couple weeks ago, with the, um, oh, what are they called? The Jubilee something or other uh, dies. But this is going to be just a little different. So I'm going to use my favorite technique for gluing intricate dies. Actually, I should probably close these ink pads. <laughs> Oh, um, someone asked if they're not doing them, the magazines anymore. They are not. Um, they stopped doing them recently, but they're, they do other stuff instead. So it just kind of changed up what they're doing. So what I'm going to do is squeeze out a little bit of glue on here. Then I have a dedicated, you'll see, um, <laughs> a dedicated sponge then I'm going to um, put some ink on the, or not ink, glue on the back of these. So I've got these in some different colors and I'm just going to kind of arrange them on here how I want them. I think that looks good. Maybe I'll put this one over here. There, I like that better. Okay, so I'm going to put them on the this little piece of crumb cake cardstock that I embossed and um, I'm just going to put the glue on and then this allows me to adhere it to my little base without getting glue all over my fingers. That's my favorite part of the whole thing. Okay. And my, on my silicone mat, the glue will rub right off. 
So I can redo this over and over. And then of course my image releases, it doesn't stick, which is perfect. Now I loved, the other thing about this is that all these pieces just kind of fell out. A little confetti sprinkle of all those inside things, which is just wonderful. Makes me so happy. And, oh, what did somebody say? Oh, you just said switch the red and green. That's funny. And I did. Oh, it's like great minds think alike, right? Okay, so there we go. Now, one of the reasons I like to put these down first is because um, I can make sure they're going to fit, first of all. <laughs> That's always really important. And then also I can determine if I like the color arrangement. Um, I can get the spacing right. You know, all of those things are important. So like I said, save all these little things because I'm sure we could make like a little flower or something out of them. I don't know. But yeah, um, really fun. Okay, then I'm going to take my sentiment and I pulled my sentiment from a stamp set. I was looking at some sets with different set, different thing, different sayings in them and I really like the tasteful textures. If I would have had a little more time, I probably would have made a card with this bundle. Um, maybe I'll do it next week, but I love this. You're just one of those people who make life better just by being in it. And oh my gosh, this is the kind of card that we for sure need to... Um, share with people right now is making sure people remember that they are awesome and we love them and they're great and all of those things. So I'm going to take my, um, oops, I'm going to take my sentiment, just grabbing a block for it, and I'm going to stamp that on here and then I will um, punch it out with a punch. So I've just got a scrap of Whisper White here. And I love this sentiment. Now, I also wanted this to be the kind of card you could send anybody. So not necessarily um, feminine or masculine, just anybody on your list. Now, I'm punching this so I've got a little space up here because I cut a gold star. <laughs> Every card needs a gold star on it, right? So um, this is a gold star cut from our gold glimmer paper using the stitched stars dies. I think that's what they're called. And I'm just going to glue that, glue dot that on here like so. And then we'll pop this layer up. Let me get some regular dimensionals out. Actually, I think I want to put them on like this and that. Okay, so hello everybody. I see we've got people just joining. Lovely to see you all here. Um, okay, are these the outgoing in colors? No, they're not. This is, actually none of them are in colors. This is Granny Apple Green, Daffodil Delight, Poppy Parade, Mango Melody, and Pacific Point. So uh, let's see. All right, so I've got that star in there, but I want to decorate this up a little. First of all, I've uh, got a crumb cake card base. You could put a solid color, but again, I really wanted that pop of color to kind of sing on my card. And actually, I think I'm going to turn it like this. And I've got a few different color com or color choices that I can work with. Oh, I don't think I had picked this one ahead of time and now it's kind of getting me. Maybe I'm just going to use this again. Um, ooh, but I do know that I'm going to do this. <laughs> I'm going to put a little pop of color in the form of this ribbon. So this is the um, Texture Weave Ribbon in Poppy. It also comes in Granny Apple Green. So I'll put a little hunk of that on there. And then for another texture, I'm going to put some of this. This is the seam crinkled, seam binding, crinkled seam binding ribbon in crushed curry. Both of these are from the annual catalog. So I'll put a little touch of that in here. 
And to attach that, I'm going to use a little snail like so. And that will just kind of tack these in place. And I'll put one more piece right here. And then we're going to just kind of having them off set from one another. And then I will tie this on like so. And maybe I'm gonna use linen thread instead of this actually. That is a little skinnier. Okay, so I've got my linen thread. And this is just gonna be great to tie, tie this all together, but be neutral so it's not kind of in your face too much. So I think this would be a great card to maybe slip under the door of your kid's room. Just remind them, remind them that they're awesome. And even though all this crazy stuff is happening, there are good things like your kids in this world. Or to send to a friend you haven't been able to see in a while. And just remind them that you're here and you miss them. Good, really good reasons to give a little card to somebody. Okay, so then um, whenever my ribbon or whatever doesn't do what I want, I make I make it bow down to my will with a glue dot. <laughs> it's very effective. So <laughs> there we go. And now you can see it's not crossing over the top. So, oh, <gasps> there we go. So we're going to just adhere this to our card base and that's it. Put it kind of off to the side here. So I think this is good for just about anybody on your list. Ooh, we gotta let that <laughs> glue dry up a little, set up a little, there we go. All right, so I love the happy, bright, happy colors. That's always fun. And I picked ones that weren't too girly or too boyish you know what I mean um if you wanted it to be really girly of course you could do like pinks aquas purples if you wanted it to be really boy you could stick with the uh, oranges yellows reds blues greens um so either one would be great okay last week so every week I ask for um I ask for requests on my lives and last week I had a bunch of people ask for the dandelions um, and I, I think I was going to do one and then I just kind of, I think last week I just needed to be done with my live. You know what I mean? <laughs> just how it is sometimes. Um, and so I do have a really cute, um, card to share with you that I was going to do last week, but like I, I said, it just didn't quite happen. Anyway, um, this is a card I received from a friend of mine in a swap. One of my favorite parts of being a demonstrator is swapping. And it is, um... It is going to be the uh, spotlight technique, which is basically a technique where you spotlight a certain part of an image, but not the whole image, okay? So to do that, what I'm going to do is I've got um, a piece of cardstock. In this case, it's a stitched square that I've die cut, and I'm using... Um, some Coastal Cabana. You might remember that from the colors of that lets us know God loves us. <laughs> and so I wanted to um, create an image with this. Now this image right here, as you can see, is bigger than my square and that's just fine. Um, I also love this because my stamp set has some really fun sentiments. I love this. I wish came true. I made a wish and you came true, which is so sweet. And then also this one, sending well wishes your way. So I'm going to do this, I think, again, perfect card for, for these days. So I'm going to pull out this larger image and sending well wishes your way. All right. Now, when I go to stamp this, I'm going to stamp it kind of like this. So just a portion of my card or a portion of my image is on this portion and then a, a portion is on the background, I guess. So I'm gonna just scooch that over so I'm almost all the way to the edge. Grab my, gotta grab my block here. And I'm gonna stamp this in some, um, Bermuda Bay. It's a little bit darker than the background. Okay. 
All right. So again, I just want this to be about there. Now, if it's not perfect, it's okay. All right, so I'm just gonna stamp this. Careful not to rock, but to get a good impression. Although I do, I believe I've trimmed this rubber down pretty well. So that won't be an issue. And there we go. Okay, now as everybody probably knows, when you stamp on two layers of cardstock, there's always that little gap right there, right? And I don't know about you, but that bugs me, okay? But in spotlighting, all that you're gonna do is take that spotlight piece and attach it to an extra layer of cardstock and line it back up and then guess what guys all that gap is gone it's like magic so that's so awesome um and so what we've got now is we can add our sentiment on here and for this i'm going to do some coastal cabana a little bit lighter color Okay, and I'm just going to stamp that down here in the corner. I suppose in a perfect world, I probably would have stamped my sentiment first just to make sure it fit. <laughs> but anyway, there we go. All right, so that looks great. Now, we're going to jazz this up a bit, as we often do. First of all, I will pop this on to my Bermuda Bay panel. It's just a little bit larger then the stitched square, then I'm going to pop the whole layer up onto my card. Oh, but first, <laughs> speaking of, I'm going to emboss this. Now, I definitely wanted to emboss after I did my stamping so that uh, I didn't lose any of the impression. So let me throw this through my folder again. Once again, I used that subtle embossing folder. I just love the look of it. And then we'll put this on. Like so. And isn't that fun? And I really think that texture just adds a little something extra to this, which is wonderful. I'm also going to add some of my glitter enamel dots. Oh goodness, these are like my favorites. I'm so sad they're going away. But all good things come to an end. So I'm gonna take and put one right here in the center. All right, and then I'll take a couple of the small ones, oops, and put one right there, and I think one right there, just to add a little prettiness to this. And then I'm going to adhere this to a layer of, this is um, gray granite. And I love the gray granite. I thought about doing white, but I really like this neutral color. I often do white, and I think this is just really pretty. Really an, a nice look. And then I'm going to fold my card base. Now, I don't, did I tell you guys this was a card that my friend Kathy Miller, um, I received from her in a swap that we both were in. That is such a fun part of being a demonstrator is being able to swap. I do a swap with my team every month. And oh, goodness, I love it. Such a good way to get new ideas. So much fun. Okay. But I think this is missing just a little bit. It needs a little something, right? So let's take some of our polka dot tool ribbon and just tie a little bow. Now I love the polka dots on here because it kind of goes with the, um, the little dandelion thingies, you know, that you blow off. <laughs> you know what I mean, right? I'm sure there's a name for it. And as a person with a degree in biology, you would think I would know that. <laughs> um, did somebody just ask, was the little square very vanilla? No, just whisper white. Whisper white. 
Okay, and also, I don't know about you, but I do see these little dandelions in my yard right now. Tis the season for that. So I'm just going to kind of tack it on like it's attached to the stem of my dandelion here. And such a cute, fun little card that we've got. Oh, so cute. You don't know what the name of those thingies are either. I know, right? Oh, I don't know. They're dead. <laughs> That's all that matters. Fluff, yes. I'm. Oh, seeds, probably. I suppose that would be for sure why they're constantly growing. Oh, don't let my degree in biology fool you. I am smart. It's just, oh. oh. Okay, so there we go. <laughs> All right, if you're just joining us, we are about to start our next card. Oh, and speaking of, so I had some fun techniques that I wanted to share with you today. And this technique is one that came from um a demonstrator uh yeah a demonstrator on my team and it's kind of an oldie but goodie but I think you guys are gonna like it it's definitely one that's fun to bring out um every so often so uh we're gonna we're gonna do a little white on white action but the colors are going to be very fun so I've got a piece of I want to say I don't want to guess three and a quarter by four and a half, <clears throat> excuse me, piece of whisper white. And I'm going to do, uh, I need a color combination for this. That's going to be awesome. <laughs> oh, the pressure is on. So, well, first of all, any good color combination starts with a little bit of Coastal Cabana. Wouldn't you agree? I'm going to add some Granny Apple Green, some Melon Mambo, and probably Mango Melody. Yeah, this looks good. Or, ooh, Grapefruit Grove. We're switching to Grapefruit. <laughs> Sorry. Okay, so we've got these four bright, fun, happy colors. And what I'm going to do is create like a little, I guess, a mini rainbow. I don't know. Well, not really. I'm not gonna quite do them in rainbow order, but close. Now. I will tell you that this is a really awesome technique, but it is a teeny bit messy. Be prepared. So um, you want to have space to put this, and you also want to get rid of the important things you don't want to get inky. <laughs> so let me just clear a couple of things off so that I have a safe space to work in. <laughs> All right, so I've got some, this is just painter's tape. You want something that's a little bit on the low tech side. And, ooh, it's a brand new roll because my husband is always taking my craft supplies. Do you guys find that? Ugh. He does, like, I finally bought him a heat gun because <laughs> he was using mine all the time. It really made me crazy. Okay, so I want to cut a piece that's a little bit bigger um, than my piece right here. Okay. Uh, Linda, it's your first time. Oh, my gosh. Well, welcome. <laughs> All right. So I'm going to just put this in here. Ooh. And just kind of push on there. And what I'm doing is I'm picking up ink. Notice it's not even. That's all the goodness. Okay, and I'm gonna switch my ink pad and I'm gonna go out like this because I need a little bit more space on here. There we go. All right, because I want it to go all the way across. So I'm gonna go right up here. I'm gonna push on this and I'm not like rubbing hard, but I'm just push, giving it a little push and I'm gonna remove it. Boom, okay? Um, and by the way, you can reuse this, so hold on to this piece. In fact, I have a scrap. I don't think it's quite the same size, but we're going to use it again because you got all that ink on there. You may as well get another use out of it. Boom. Okay. So we're going to make two cards. <laughs> um, can you reuse these pieces of tape is probably your first, your next question. The answer is yes. Um, because of <clears throat> the nature of this video, I'm throwing mine away mainly because I don't want to get ink all over myself or anything else on my desk. 
Um, so that's why I'm kind of saying if you've got yourself set up right, you can. Um, a great place to put the pieces would be on your on your silicone sheet. Okay. All right. Um, so here we go with the next color. This is Melon Mambo. And again, first, my full strength one's going to go over here. And, ooh, see, I got a hair on there or something. That happens. It is what it is. It's all good. We're going to stamp over this, so don't worry. All right, and I'm just going to get rid of this piece. Um, but you, I wouldn't say you can reuse the piece of tape. Probably best not to do that, just saying. Okay. Ooh. This is hard to open when your hands are goofy. All right. So putting that on there. Did get a little ink on my fingers. So. Okay. Oh, and if you need it to be long, you know, bigger, then you just would scooch your pieces over and then you can get a bigger piece of cardstock. Okay. So my full strength one goes here. And my stamped off one goes there. Oh, look at how fun this is. I mean, and there's still ink on there. You could just really go to town. And also, if you want it to be a little darker, let me put this back down. You can, you know, rub on there a little harder. And look, you picked up more color. So uh, a lot of, this is a really fun technique to experiment on and just have fun playing with it, you know. And I might need one more color. Okay, so we've got Coastal Cabana, the color that lets us know God loves us. Put that on there, like so. And for my final color, oh, should I do purple? Should I do Pacific Point? Oh, how does a girl choose? I think I'm going to go with purple. Gorgeous. Cream. Ooh, actually, I'm not Highland Heather. There we go. Okay. Rip that baby off. Put my tape on here. Pick up some color. <clears throat> and put it down. Oh. Don't stick it. <laughs> don't stick it on your paper too much. And then a little bit on the bottom of this one. All right. So there we go. We've had so much fun with our tape. Now let's do something fun with this. So I think my favorite thing to do is to pull out kind of an outline stamped image um, that you can stamp on top of this. And a bigger, oh, honestly, there. I mean, the possibilities are for pretty much endless, but I did have a little something in mind when I picked this out. Actually, I've got two things in mind, so hold on. We're, we're going to ad lib a little because, well, because we can. Oh, I'm just looking for a stamp set, though. Where did it go? One moment. Oh, for heaven's sakes. Oh, I'm, I lost my stamp set that I wanted to use. Serious. The worst part is I had it out just like very recently. Oh. How is this possible? Don't you hate when that happens? I had something ready to go. Mm. And now I don't see it. Okay. See, I had everything so well planned out and figured out. And now the one set I want to use, I can't find. Ugh. This is making me crazy. Okay, so I guess since I can't find it, we're gonna we're gonna change our mind a little, and that's fine. Oh wait, I didn't have it out yet, did I? No. No, of course not. All right, so what I want to do with this um, is take, I'm going to take the, this is a little lace stamp set, and um, I'm going to 
stamp this this one in the this stamp. I, what I wanted to use, by the way, it was flourishing phrases. That's one of my all-time favorites. It is about to be discontinued, which is really the end of an era. I mean, let's be honest. Um, another thing that would be good over this was a, is a large sentiment. So maybe that's what we'll do on our other one instead of the flourishing phrases. I just was all excited to do that. Oh, well. Okay, so I'm going to just put this on here like so. So I inked it up in black ink to go right over the top which is perfect. And as I'm sitting here talking to you, I'll be honest, I'm looking at all of my stamp sets and I found the one I wanted. Oh, I'm so happy. All right. So there we go. And I chose this image on the lighter one because you can see this isn't a solid image, but it looks pretty good. Okay, and then what's great is there's lots of sentiments that come in this set. So I'm going to pick one of the little ones. So happy for you. And we're going to stamp this on just a little scrap of Whisper White. And we're going to add this uh, onto our card. Okay. Now this, by the way, is kind of my afterthought. <laughs> this this card, what we're doing right now. <laughs> so I'll finish this here in just a minute. Okay. Oh, let's see. Did we have somebody have, having trouble? You're retired and you've purchased so much to make cards and you can't seem to get started. Oh my gosh. Well, Linda, can I just tell you, you need to be in my Facebook class. Um, oh, the whole class is geared towards making things easier for you to stamp and using what you've got and showing you ways to, um, to, to stamp faster and, and to do things easier. Um, and, oh. We'll take good care of you, Linda. Don't you worry. All right. So there we go. Okay. I'm going to set this aside for a minute because um, I'm going to, like I said, I'm going to come back to it. Now I found the stamps that I was looking for. It was hiding. It was hiding um, behind another stamp set. So this is the image that I really wanted to use. You can see this is a little thicker line um, than this one. And so I think it's going to come out a little better. I still like this, but... Um, here we go. So this great big flourishy image is what I wanted to put on here. This requires another one of those big stamps. Okay, so we're going to stamp this in black ink as well. So I'm going to ink this up really nicely because I want to get a good impression. And then I'm going to stamp this in a couple places on here. So I have that kind of blob right there. So I kind of want to cover that up so it's not so noticeable. Oh, so we'll stamp this. And notice, by the way, one thing I think happens, we get so excited. We want to see what we stamped. We don't give a chance for the ink to come off the stamp onto the paper. So notice today I've been doing this a few times to just really um, give it a minute to release. Now I'm not rocking it because that's when we run into problems. I'm just pressing and just sort of not wiggling. I don't know. I'm just getting it on there. And then, oh, amazing, right? Look at that. So good. And isn't that just happy? Oh, I love, you know, I like stamping happy cards. It is my thing for sure. Okay. So then I'm going to stamp another one over here. Again, I'm giving it time for the ink to come off so I get a nice solid image. Part of getting a really good image is inking it appropriately. I, I see when people don't ink up their image enough. And then the other thing is I see that they don't give it a chance to come off the stamp itself. That's especially true. Well, it's, it's true on any, but I was going to say especially larger images. Okay, so then we've got this. Then we're going to kind of go over here and do this little corner right there. And oh my gosh, how awesome is this? 
Um, Linda, do me a favor. You drop me an email and I will give you all the information you need. Um, my email, I'm trying to remember, I don't think I put it in the link to this. Hold on, I'll give it to you in a minute here. Okay, so there we go. Oh my gosh, isn't this pretty? So pretty. <laughs> Makes me so happy. Okay, so we've got this gorgeous, gorgeous card. Now, there's so much happening here. We don't want to take away from any of that. So all I'm going to do is pop it onto this white card base. It's so cool. By the way, Linda, not only will I teach you how to use all of your goodies, I will make your days happier. I promise. Okay. Oh, how awesome is that, you guys? I'm so happy. All right. <laughs> now, we do need, I want to do one other thing to this. Just one little thing. I'm going to take some of my black twine. This is from my Country Club Twine Combo Pack. That would be found in the Occasions catalog. And I'm going to just put a little piece of, a hunk of it on here. And actually might do it down here. Um, just feeding this through. It'll come out the other side eventually. There we go. Yeah, I'm going to do this at the bottom. And tie a little knot. And then I'm also going to just like I did on that first card, I'm going to fray the ends. Um, okay. And I'm just kind of unraveling this. And here we go. Thanks. Yeah, here, I just click it on here. Sorry, my battery is running low, but don't worry. I just plugged in. We're good to go. <laughs> All right. Say hi to the ladies. Hola, ladies. <laughs> Hola, ladies. There we go. Isn't that cute? Oh, oh my gosh. So pretty. Okay. How was your test? My test went pretty good, I think. Good. And my run did too. I averaged like 7.15, so. Awesome. Okay, so we've got this great stamp set. And one of my favorite parts is there aren't very many images as far as like picture images. The rest are sentiments. It's a big set. And this is another good innie and outie where there's an innie stamp sentiment and an outie stamp sentiment. Okay, so I'm going to take um, and just do this hello, this little hello we're going to stamp right there. By the way, uh, if I would have been just a teeny tiny bit smarter about my life. I would have stamped it before I popped it up on my card, but we're going to make do. It's going to be fine. All right. And I still have one more card after this, you guys. Okay, so I'm going to stamp my sentiment right there. Let's pray to the gods of stamping that this is straight. Oh, thank you. Okay, that looks awesome. But oh, you know we can make this just a teeny bit more awesome. Awesomer right? <laughs> awesomer is correct grammar and stamping, just so you know. I just don't want you to be fooled. All right, so I'm going to put some shimmer with my clear wink of Stella on here on these little flower thingies. Okay. And then, um, so you can see, there's just a little, uh, it's so hard to catch the right light, but that shimmer is there, I promise. Um, all right, and then I'm gonna take and put a few rhinestones on here, just regular rhinestones. Got my take your pick tool. And I'm just going to sprinkle these around in a few places. And I find that this is good to do in odd numbers. So we'll put one right there. I've got one, two, three, four, one more. I'll put a fifth one up there. Oh, I don't like that right there. Kidding. We're going to put it right there. 
And I don't think the adhesive stuck to the back of this. Oh, it's stuck on down. Oh, there we go. All right. <laughs> so there we go. Ooh, congratulations, Susan. What are we congratulating her for? Oh, she is Susan, Susan, Susan. Thank you. You're beyond excited. Oh my gosh, what happened? Oh, she's a grandma. Oh, how wonderful. Your first grandchild is coming. Oh, so awesome. Oh, it's very exciting. There we go. Okay, so there is our card. Isn't that fun? All right, now on our other card, I need to finish this one. I think I might just... Ooh, that's way too big. Okay, ah ha ha, I knew I had a scrap. Just the right size. Okay, so um, this is, I believe this is three by four, and this is three and a quarter by four and a quarter. So I wanted to put that black because I thought it would help make this pop just a little bit more. Uh, I'm also going to go back to my little gems or these are glitter enamel dots oh here's the first glorious sheet oh isn't this awesome so i'm going to put this on here and i've got these nice big gems so what if actually let's see i'm going to put a green one because this is kind of the green area and look they coordinate how glorious is that so i'm going to put this big one right there I can just feel my son is head is exploding somewhere, knowing I'm saying all these, leaving all these, that's what she said, on the table. <laughs> and then this one will fit right here. How fun is that? Oh, so cute. Okay. And then we'll just put this on a plain old white card base. Ooh, this is a piece of shimmer white. I didn't actually mean for that. This is regular white. Oh no, this is shimmer white too. Well, we'll go with it. Why not? <laughs> oh. Well, I am so excited that there's some fun new people here today. Welcome to our page. We are awesome. We're a fun group. I'm just going to tell you right now, you came to the right place. I'm here Mondays at 4 p.m. Central Time which is 5 p.m. Eastern, 3 p.m. Mountain, 2 p.m. Pacific. And every, every week I have awesome projects. And I do online classes. I have fun events. I also have a really cool group called Sending Sunshine and Rainbows. It's a great place to take those amazing cards that you make and share them with people who need some uplifting in their life. Um, we have new nominations every week and we do all kinds of good stuff. There's also free classes on there. Definitely worth checking out. Okay, so there we go. There's our card. So fun. So, so much, so much happy in these cards, I think. And this was just the leftovers from making that one. So that kind of worked out great. Okay. Um, one final card for you to, oh, by the way, I wanted to show you this because this is the card that actually inspired this. This was from um, one of my downline members and she used the set, uh, oh, what is the name of this set? It's Share What You Love, I think. Is that right? Does that sound right? I'm looking up to see if I can see it on my pile here. I know it's there because I saw it when I, I, I almost used it when I couldn't find my other one, but yeah. So there we go. Okay. But my final card is, um, Ooh, it's one I, I really like. It is a good old masculine card and I'm going to share with you a cool technique for this. So this is using the clubhouse stamp set, which is found in our occasions catalog. It is being retired, which really surprised me to be completely honest. And I think you will see that if there's a golfer in your life, this is a great set to have um, in your 
in your collection. I'm gonna use my Stamparatus on this. Gosh, my Stamparatus needs a little love. It's kind of dirty. But one of the founding principles of the Creativity Cave <laughs> is that we don't judge. I think you would all agree that's a good principle. So um, I'm just going to take out a little wet wipe here and clean this off. Because, man, look at that. It's dirty. Okay. And then, like any good person, I'm going to take that somewhat wet plate and rub it on my pants to dry it off quicker. <laughs> All right, and then I also am not even going to lie when I tell you that this is kind of a disaster, too. Look at that. I've got ink everywhere. Goodness gracious. That is sort of the story of my life, I'm not going to lie. Okay, so I've got this on here. We're all good now. And um, I want to... I'm, I'm going to show you the card first. And the reason is... Um, just, somebody just asked if my workspace gets smaller as I stamp. Uh, yeah, <laughs> it starts actually when I started this video, my whole desk was clean, the whole area. And now we're about the size of a card. <laughs> All right. So, um, what I wanted to show you is a really cool technique for making, um, a bunch of cards in a row. This is a card that is really easy, but it's kind of one of those ones that's nice to have on hand. So I wanted to make up several of them. And I actually did this for a card swap. And what I wanted to do was make a card that um, didn't take me forever to die cut. So if I was stamped this image and then die cut it, you know, that would have taken forever. But instead what I did is I set up a little jig. I'm going to show you how to do that with my Stamparatus. So this is our stamp positioning tool and it's really easy to use. The first thing I want to do is grab my stamp. And of course, like seriously, what did I do with it? And and you can see this, it comes with a bunch of dies that work. So I used this die and this guy, and then there's, you know, a bunch of other pieces that you can use. I'm going to grab the coordinating stamps here. And what I want to do first off is I want to stamp my golfer guy. Um, and so I'm going to grab uh, a piece of cardstock, and I'm just going to stamp him on here. And honestly, it doesn't really matter. I'm just sticking him on this piece of cardstock. But what I can do is I've got my little magnets. Of course, they're not right here. Here's one. I've got this magnet and I'm going to just use this to um, hold my piece of cardstock in place while I'm stamping. I've got it shoved up in that corner, right? And then just get that hair off of there for goodness sakes. Okay, and then I'm just going to position this right here. Pick it up. Okay, and then I'm also going to kind of flip this around over here so I can ink it up a little easier. My big tip for you is take one of an ink pad or um, a stamp case, like from your stamp set, and slide it under your Stamparatus plate right here, because when you open it, you know, flip it to open it, it will hold everything up, and it's so much easier to work with. Okay, so I'm just gonna stamp this with some uh, Knight of Navy ink. All right, and I'm gonna stamp this down. So easy. All right, boom, perfect. Now, I don't know, I feel like I could stamp this top part a little better. So let's just ink it up one more time. Give it a good press. Make sure we really got that down. Okay, haha, -ha. much better. Now I've got a nicely stamped image. That's the beauty of the Stamparatus, by the way, is you can just restamp something in the area where it's not perfect. Now the next step for this is I'm gonna quick die cut this. So to do that, and whenever I'm die cutting a larger image like this, especially when I really don't want to spend time die cutting again, 
So I'm going to line it up really nicely like so. I'm going to take one of the most useful stamping tools we have, and that is a post-it note. I'm just going to post or <laughs> place the post-it note over my image, and then it's got it's going to hold everything in place. So when I die cut it, it will still be centered and perfect. So let me do that really quick. Okay, so here we go. Now let's come back to this. Now this is just glorious and wonderful. Gosh, that's a really sticky post-it note I had there. <laughs> and oh, pure perfection, it's wonderful. Now that's great, but I find it is so much easier to not have to stick a, a, a post-it on there and get it absolutely perfect. Yes, washi tape would work really well also. Just whatever you have handy. And um, it's just so much easier to not have to line this up and, and mess with it. But rather, you could just die cut a bunch of these out of scraps of Whisper White cardstock. So here's what I'm going to do next. I'm going to take that, put it right back up here. Remember, I had it right in the corner here. I've gone ahead of time and die cut some golfers just in plain white. I'm going to put this piece right back into where it was. And now my stamp, because I have not moved it, is all lined up and ready to go. And um, I'm going to ink this up once again and stamp it down. And then I will have a perfectly positioned die cut. And by the way, you can do this with punches too. But I will have a perfectly positioned die cut in here. So it's so much faster to do it this way. And uh, it's so wonderful if you're doing this for a swap or if you're just making a bunch of cards ahead of time. And look at that. So you have them all ready to go. The other thing you can do is you can just stamp a bunch of these up and put them in the case so that whenever you pull your case out, you've got some stamped images ready to go. So kind of perfect. Isn't that awesome? Oh, I hope you liked that one. So this is just making a little jig for your, with your Stamparatus. All right, I've kind of made a mess here, so let's take off a layer. Oh, it's like a clean table. Okay, all right. So this is kind of the basis for my card. So let's, let's create this card and finish it up. I'm gonna do a little stamping. I've got some of the really fun printed papers that come with the suite here and I'm just gonna adhere them to my card base. So my card base is Knight of Navy and then I've chose two of the designs that really coordinate, but of course you could mix and match. There's all kinds of great pieces in this catalog and I do have some golfers in my life, so it's so nice to have this. Um, I do have a class for this bundle coming out on Friday, so the link to register for it is in the description of this video if you'd like to join us. We're going to make um, a bunch of uh, eight cards, and we have a bonus card, and two of them are for girl golfers because I think that's important. Not everybody who golfs is a boy, as, it's, as it just so happens. All right, now we're going to pop my golfer up onto my card here. And I'm going to put one more, maybe I'll take this edge piece and put that on here, down at the bottom. Perfect. And we'll pop this up onto our card, like so, let's see, there he is, look at that butt. <laughs> I just had to. All right. <laughs> I never said I was fully mature. <laughs> and I told you we would have fun. I mean, it's, his butt is right there. Why would you not squeeze those buttons? I'm just saying. Okay. Now I've got my sentiment. And I have die cut my little uh, flag that comes in the set of dies. And I'm going to stamp that in uh, garden green, which coordinates. Ooh, someone said golf gentlemen only, ladies forbidden. Whatever. That's not true. Name less. Hmm. 
Well, name less. I respectfully disagree. I'll tell you what I tell my 18-year-old daughter. You can put do anything you set your mind to. All right. Happy birthday. Like stamp straight on a little piece. <laughs> All right. So I'm going to take a couple of mini dimensionals and put them on the two sides of this. And then we'll just rest this right over the butt of our golfer. <laughs> okay. Like so. Kind of over his waist, really, but we're covering up his waist more than his buns. <laughs> there, Sue. So true. All right. Okay. Um, let's see. We're just gonna... Okay. So there is my card. And now we're not done yet. Let's take a moment and stamp the inside of our card, too. So there's um, another piece in here. And remember how I told you that the most useful tool in stamping is a set of post-it notes. I was not lying. All right. Oh, but actually, I need to do this with my Stamparatus. So here's another way to use your Stamparatus. Um, I'm going to take and put in here... Uh, my cardstock. This is going to be for the inside of my card. And I've got this little sentiment. It says, you're the greatest guy by par. <laughs> so funny. Okay. So I'm going to put that in here. Let me grab a plate. Okay. I'm going to use this plate, but the other side of it. Oh, that's a bad, well, I'm going to take this off. We're done with that anyway. Anyway, so it's fine. Okay, so I'm going to pick my image up. And um, remember, I said that post-its are your friend. So here's another fun trick. And this is really uh, helpful to have a Stamparatus for. First of all, I'm going to use the grid lines on here to make sure that this is on here straight. Because there's nothing worse than a crooked piece. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to do is pull my post-it notes back out. I have a smaller set of them as well because this is a little easier. And I'm going to mask off the top and bottom portion of my sentiment. And um, just like that. Um, sorry, I'm looking to see. It looked like there was another question in here. Skinny piece about an inch and the wider piece is just under three. Ooh, I'm not sure what that is about. Okay, so um, this I'm going to ink up in some of my garden green ink. So I've just got that on here. Now this is the most important step. Remove the post-it. So, so important. Can't stress that enough. Okay, <laughs> then we'll stamp this on here. Boom, looks great. Now, next thing we're gonna do is clean that image. Okay, so for that, I'm gonna take my little chamois and just pull this out and clean. All right, so that looks good. And what I want to do now is take and put um, a post-it right here Okay, and then I'm going to ink this in Knight of Navy. Again, remove the post-it. It's so awesome. Okay, and yes, uh, whoever just asked that. Yes, Linda, the answer to that is yes, they are the same. Um, ours has a few different features than some of the others that are really great, but they're they're the same concept. Okay, um, so now I've got your the in old or er, Knight of Navy, so I can do two colors. I'm gonna clean that once more, and then I'm going to ink the bottom portion in Old Olive. Or er, oh my gosh, why do I have Old Olive on the brain? I don't know because I'm using Knight of Navy, so I apologize. Okay, so I'm covering that up. I'm going to ink just that little bottom part that says by par. Pull this off. Again, so important. You could also use tape to do this. 
um, somebody mentioned washi tape earlier and it would work for this technique as well. Okay, so there we go. So now I've got all of these colors and everything is lined up. I don't even want to tell you about the fact that my old olive pad just fell on the ground ink side down. Oh. So, okay. Um, Donna, hold that for just one second. Uh, okay. So let's pull this out of our Stamparatus. I'm just going to pull this across and aside. Okay. Oh, there we go. Oh, no, you do not need to purchase a Stamparatus to follow my classes at all. I promise you. Okay. So we're just going to stamp or <laughs> adhere this to the inside of our card. And there we go. So all kinds of fun techniques on this really simple project. All right, let me bring back in the projects I made today to share with you. And then I'm going to tell you about some things I have coming up. Um, first of all, don't forget to share this video. Oh, sharing is caring. I appreciate it. Your help so much. Help get the word out. I know we had several people who are new here today, and I'm so glad that you stopped by. We're awesome here at the Creativity Cave, so make sure you come back again. Um, and then, um, let's see. And then I want to tell you about some of the stuff I have going on. So first of all, share the video. Um, share this video on Facebook, and then you'll be entered into a drawing for free stamps. Drawing. And I give away stamps each week. Um, if I get 100 people who share, then I will do um, two stamp sets. And our winner this week uh, was Sandy. Sandy. So congratulations to you, Sandy. Second of all, um, tomorrow night is game night. The Stampin' Game Night Workshop. And workshop. Um, it's going to be in the Facebook group. But it'll be another YouTube video like this. So if you're watching from YouTube and you don't do Facebook, you're good. Um, I'll be in YouTube and I will post it after the video is is done. Um, if you want to watch it live, though, you do need to either be registered or be on the Facebook group. Uh, we will be stamping at 8 p.m. It's a PJ party. Um, in case you're wondering why I'm doing it so late, uh, we for Stampin' Up, we have a demonstrator event called uh, On Tour, and there is a presentation tomorrow evening, and I just wanted to make sure we missed so people could see that or not miss, so people wouldn't have to miss it. Um, so that's going on Tuesday night, as in tomorrow, and it's going to be so much fun. That's central time. Anybody can join. Um, we're also going to be playing some games of bingo. And to play bingo, you need to be registered. If you have not registered, I'm sorry to tell you all of my packets have sold out. I added them twice. So it really has been so much fun. Um, but you can watch all the stamping. And there will be five projects that we're going to demonstrate. And I also will have ordering specials. And all of that will be in um, that group. Okay, and I can tell you right now that uh, when you order from me, I send you a thank you card. I also have different gifts each week or so. And um, all of those things are available to my customers as well as becoming a VIP rewards member. And I've got all kinds of fun perks for that. So all you need to do is... Um, enjoy the um enjoy the event and come come have fun with us um let's see and by the way the link to all of this is in this description so the link to the stamp and game night workshop is in here the link to my online store is in here um as well as my online classes so also i mentioned this week i have the clubhouse online class um, also, next week, my May Facebook classes start. 
And I don't have a link to the May class, but I'll get it in here. Just give me a second. Uh, as soon as I'm done, I'll post it in there so you can check that out. Um, a few of you were asking how to contact me. My email is drekow at yahoo.com. So if you have questions about any of this stuff, feel free to contact me. You can also find it from my website, which is thecreativitycave.com. And finally, the other thing that I have is my Path of Petals Creativity to Go Kit. Creativity to Go Kit. That comes out later in May, um, but it is a really great class. Lots of fun. My creativity to go kits are my fave. So um, I'll talk about that in just a second again. So let me show you my project. So first of all, we made this cool clubhouse card again. That's one of my classes I have coming out. This comes out on Friday. So that's awesome. Um, next, uh, I was inspired by this card that one of my team members sent to me a while ago. And we changed up the colors and made these two beautiful cards. This one features the Flourishing Phrases stamp set. This one features the, I think it's called A Little Bit of Lace stamp set. Where is it? Where is it? This one and A Little Lace. There we go. So we kind of got a twofer on this one. Um, next up, this was a card that was uh, inspired by a a um, card that I create or received in a swap from my good friend Kathy Miller. She's a sweetie. She uh, made this card and I cased it from her. Casing means copy and share everything or copy and selectively edit. My favorite. This is a card that I cased from a Stampin' Up! publication and it features the Wish For It All bundle. This bundle right here. So much fun. And then my first card. It's my favorite card. Oh, so pretty. This gorgeous card with a little bit of sparkle in it is created um, using the Path of Petals stamp set and coordinating dies, the whole bundle. And that is what my uh, Path of Petals Creativity to Go kit is going to be all about later this month. And again, all the links to all of these wonderful things are in the description of this video. So check them out. If you are watching the replay, thank you so much for being here. Please give me a comment. I'd love to see you. Don't forget to share, share, share. And I hope to see you tomorrow night for Stampin' Game Night. And we are going to have fun. Oh, and one more thing. I didn't mention this. Sorry. Starting tonight in just about a little over an hour, I'm going to have some clues for a mystery stamping project. And you can just follow the clues, create a project, and then um, I will share the final project tomorrow. And um, you can be entered into a drawing for free goodies too if you share your project with us on the Stampin' Game Night workshop. So make sure all of that is in Facebook. So anyway, thank you guys so much for stamping with me today. I had a great time. Man, we've been on a while. <laughs> It was good fun, though. Thanks, guys. I'll see you again next week. Bye-bye.